Hey everybody, it's great to see you. Um, I know you've been probably stuck at home for several days now and I just wanted to check in and bring the message to you at home today. Um, I know a lot of you have been hearing a lot of uh, information about the coronavirus and how we can keep ourselves safe from getting sick. And no doubt you've probably been hearing a lot about washing your hands. Um, so I have with me today some dish soap, I've got some hand sanitizer, and just some basic hand washing soap. Now it doesn't really matter what you use, um, but it is important that we keep our hands nice and clean so that we don't spread any germs. Now, the coronavirus is a, a type of virus, and I want to explain what happens to you when we wash our hands, where the germs go, and what a virus is, and how it acts. So, a virus is like a little germ, and it can cling onto our hands in the same way a, a greasy spot might be. If you've ever seen a big greasy pot of something maybe your mom or dad cooked and when you put the dish soap in it, it's really cool because um, it starts to scatter or separate, all right? And so um, I wanna share with you how the love of Jesus is kind of like dish soap. All right, well, I've been learning a lot about um, what happens with soap when we wash our hands, so I wanna share that with you today. So soap has a um, couple of ingredients, and one of these ingredients really loves water. It likes, it just loves water, can't get enough of it. And the other ingredient in soap really doesn't like water. It wants to do everything it can to just get away from it. And so that ingredient is what takes away those germs and those viruses. And when we wash our hands the right way, um, those things get washed clean, right? So we all know that in order to wash our hands correctly, all right, we need to turn on the water, get our hands nice and wet, get plenty of soap, and what's the magic number we need for washing our hands? It's 20, right? So you can sing happy birthday to yourself or to a friend a couple of times. Make sure you're getting into all those nooks and crannies, um, even your wrists and everything and just make sure you're getting a good lather 20 seconds and washing that down the drain and that really helps to keep us all nice and healthy well sometimes we can have things that that we hold on to kind of like that greasy spot or that virus that aren't good for us and those things are called sins now a sin doesn't have to be a big thing, like going out and really hurting somebody or stealing something. A sin can be something small. It could be something, maybe the way that we talk to one another or telling a little lie that we think just won't matter because we know what's best. But those things are still sins. And so God is so powerful. He's way more powerful than dish soap. God sent his son Jesus so that we can be washed clean of those sins. So you don't have to hold on to those yucky, dirty things in your life because Jesus has already washed them clean. Now it is important that we talk to God and that we um, try not to do the wrong things, but that when we do, we confess our sins and we, we, we ask for forgiveness, right? I know a lot of you are making big sacrifices right now, being at home. I want to encourage you to stay positive, have fun at home, be nice to your brothers and sisters, and, and be helpful to your moms and dads because we're all going through this. But I also want to remind you that um, God gave us His covenant, His wonderful promise in the rainbow. And every time we see that, we are reminded that God will never again destroy the earth and its people. And we have the love of God and His Son Jesus to hold on to, to wash away all the bad things in our life. I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you again soon. I know we're going to get to get through this. And um, it's good to see you at home. And I'll see you soon. Bye.